I'm in love with nature, and I'm embracing the th the beauty of nature, and and the beauty of painting, actual paint, colors, that whole thing. I, I you know love nature. That is my religion, really. I mean, uh, I think nature is God. I guess you know. Kenny Scharf first came to the attention of Art New York in the early 1980s when he made paintings based on the Jetsons, the Flintstones, and other cartoon imagery found in popular culture. But like most good artists, Kenny's work has changed and evolved greatly over the past 15 years. In his latest show with Tony Schifrazi, his longtime dealer, Kenny exhibits paintings that celebrate the beauty, endurance, and fragility of nature. Kenny studied painting at the School of Visual Arts in New York City, which in the late 70s, early 80s, was a seedbed of artistic activity and included such luminaries as Robert Mapplethorpe, poet-musician Patti Smith, and Keith Haring. Kenny was a major force in the East Village art scene. He was a co-founder of Club 57 on St. Mark's Place, which featured new art and performance and whose membership included performance artist Ann Magnuson and Madonna. He also named the Fun Gallery in the East Village, which was run by the underground film actress Patty Astor, and which was a showplace for emerging art, graffiti included. He, along with Herring, Futura 2000, Basquiat, and others, burst onto the New York art scene with an energy and an excitement which hadn't been seen for some time. As a group, they worked and exhibited outside the art establishment. Kenny and his colleagues showed work at the famed Times Square show, the New York New Wave show, and the Mud Club, as well as in the streets and subways of New York City, all with the intent of bringing art to a public that normally would not go to galleries. As their work gained prominence, they too began to show with established art galleries. 